Hi everyone, I'm Rosemary and welcome back to my organization hack series featuring Dollar Tree's most in stock organizer, the Shower Caddy. In this video, I'll be focusing on closets, craft areas, office and desk organization. This is actually part four of the series and in parts one through three, I featured bath makeup and jewelry, kitchen and pantry, and garage, basement and laundry. I will provide a link for those here and in the description if you would like to check those out. But for now, let's jump into this video. I wanted to start with a multi-purpose hanging rack that can be used to organize items such as handbags, shoes and boots, leggings and tees, and sweaters and hoodies, and so much more. To make, I'll be using two shower caddies and two wire cooling racks. And the first step was to take the shower caddies and on that first rack, I just bent it down and tucked it behind the second rack. And then I did that for both of the caddies. Next, using some wire cutters, I removed the second shelf from the bottom. Then I took the cooling rack and zip tied that to the bottom shelf of the caddy. Now I am zip tying to the bottom part of the shelf and not that top rung. And I am putting one zip tie to each side. And then I repeated that for the other caddy. Next, I attached a second cooling rack to both sides of the caddy, again, with two zip ties there to the back. And then I also added a couple of zip ties there in the middle as well. And then I just cut off the zip tie tails. And from here, it's pretty much good to go. However, the silver on the racks was bugging me a little bit. So I did decide to paint those with some white spray paint to give a more finished and cohesive look. But otherwise, it's ready to hang from a closed rack with either zip ties or shower curtain rings. And then here you can see the finished project holding some handbags. And you can see how that top shelf can accommodate larger bags while the bottom shelf can hold smaller ones. And then next we have some sweaters on the top shelf. Those are five extra large men's sweaters. And then on the bottom shelf, an extra large men's fall jacket. With the addition of some Dollar Tree baskets, you can create drawer-like storage for items such as underwear, socks, leggings, and tees. And don't forget those hooks at the bottom, which can be used to hang items like scarves and belts. This rack also makes some great storage for boots and shoes. The top shelf is pretty tall as is, but you can always make it taller if needed with the addition of some more shower curtain rings. And then here is another caddy and wire rack combo this time to help with organization for heels. Just hang the rack horizontally from the hooks and zip tie into place. From here, hang the caddy from a wall or over the door hook and slide the heels through the slots in the wire rack to hold in place. The caddy portion can be used to store no-show socks and shoe care items. Another great use for this caddy and wire rack combo would be as a tie organizer. The caddy portion can be used to store deodorant, body spray, sunglasses, wallet, and keys, and ties can be folded and hung on the slots to keep them tidy and organized and on display for easy selection. I have had multiple requests for a DIY shelf separator. So here is a quick and easy one using two caddies and a Dollar Tree sign. First, I removed the second from the bottom shelf on each caddy using wire cutters, then also removed the bottom hooks. I did go ahead and paint my sign white, but that part is optional as one side will face the shelf while the other will be covered with clothes. Next, I folded down both of the top crossbars and I did that on both caddies. To attach the sign, I used some E6000 glue on the bottom shelf, then placed the sign on top and weighted it down until the glue was set. Then all you need to do is place it on a shelf and fill with clothes. Here again are the five extra large men's sweaters and there's still room to spare. If you want a more narrow or wider separator, you can adjust the size of the base accordingly. Now this hanging basket organizer from earlier is a great option, especially if you want the baskets to be removable. But to create this style of organizer, we did have to take away the additional storage that the caddies themselves would offer. So if removable baskets is not a must have, here is another hanging basket option. For this version, I'll be keeping the caddies completely intact and will now be attaching the basket to the back side of the caddy and will zip tie again to the bottom shelf, but this time I will be attaching to the top part of the shelf. Next, I will attach a second basket to that top crossbar, again zip tying to both sides. 
And now here you can see the hanging baskets with additional storage now along the outside as well. So you can have items like socks and underwear in the baskets and then have extra storage for items like shampoo, toothpaste and soap and even add a little nylon bag there along the bottom for additional storage. This is a great option for a dorm room or any small space. And then to make a longer unit, you could easily make a second hanging basket organizer and attach the two together by zip tying the top of one to the bottom shelf of the other. With the additional weight, it's probably also better to use zip ties when attaching to the clothes rod. To gain additional storage, you could also zip tie utility hooks to the bottom of the caddies. And then this combo by itself, just hanging on a wall or on an over the door hook, makes a great organizer for items like belts, scarves, purses, umbrellas, and other closet items. But don't stop there. Versions of this combo, as well as other caddy combos, can be used for jewelry, hair tools and accessories, and makeup. All of these organizers were featured in previous videos, and I'll provide a link here and in the description. Another great organizer combo is the caddy along with the Dollar Tree dish rack. All I'm doing here is attaching again the two pieces together with zip ties. And I did attach the rack to the bottom shelf and I did use two zip ties to each side. And then this combo makes a great organizer for flip flops and flat sandals. It also makes a great option to store items like hats, gloves, and umbrellas. Another great option for hats, gloves, and scarves would be to use this multi-purpose organizer made from a caddy and Dollar Tree baskets. This organizer can be used all around the house, including in the pantry, in the coat closet as mentioned, and it's also great for underwear and bras, and so many more options. To make, I'm going to take one of the caddies and take that first rung and push it down and back behind the second rung. Then I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree brown weave baskets and place it on top of that second rung. I'll also be adding a second one down there at the bottom. To attach the top basket, I threaded zip ties underneath of the horizontal bar and threw the basket weave in the middle of the basket, and then also two zip ties towards the top through the second row of the basket weave and around the handle of the caddy. In order to create clearance to get items in and out of the second bin, I had to remove the crossbars in front of the bottom shelf with some wire cutters, but made sure to retain that back horizontal bar. Next, I pushed the bottom hooks through the basket weave, but I did so on the second row of the weave, leaving the first row so that I could thread through a zip tie and attach the basket to the frame at that spot. I also added three more zip ties going through the weave of the basket and then attaching it to that bottom horizontal bar. Lastly, I just bent those hooks upwards to further secure the basket. And then from there you can hang on walls, over doors, inside cabinets, all around for countless organization options. Now here's another caddy organizer from the kitchen video, which also has some great closet applications. And what I'm going to do is take two of the shower caddies and place them head to head, and then slide the hook parts underneath of the wire frame. Next comes the zip ties, and I'm going to zip tie the hook of one caddy to the bottom shelf of the other, and then where the two caddies meet, and then again down here at the bottom. And then that's it. All you need to do now is sit it on a shelf and add some items. Like flip-flops and sandals, small handbags, umbrellas and clutches, even folded shirts and leggings, find order with this organizer. Some of the favorite organizers from this series have been the standalone caddies, like this one for paper plates and plastic cutlery, which also makes a great desk and office supplies organizer. Here you can see that same caddy, now with pens, pencils, dry erase markers, and highlighters, as well as a Dollar Tree acrylic box holding paper clips, rubber bands, and tacks. There is also space for a full-size stapler, glue, and dry erase spray, and in the back a spot for post-it notes and tape. To make, I just took two of the caddies and zip tied them back to back. On one side, I folded down the top rung to better accommodate the plates. Then I took four of these mesh pencil holders from the Dollar Tree and zip tied them to the sides of the caddy using these small zip ties that I got also from Dollar Tree. 
Also, I wanted to point out that when I attach the cups, I am attaching them to the second rung on the caddy. That's because um, on the one side, I did fold down the first rung. So just be aware of that as you are attaching them. I also wanted to point out that I did leave the little feet on this caddy because I kind of think it adds to the aesthetics. And since the items are lightweight, it's not gonna to cause too much of a balancing issue. And then here again, you can see how much this little caddy can hold. It really packs a punch. So you can get a lot of storage for all of those items that need to find a home. And then to create a wall version, it would of course just be the one caddy with the two cups attached to either side. This makes a great option when desktop space is at a premium, and it also works great for craft organization. For example, that same caddy can be used to hold heat and glue guns with the cords going in the middle section of the caddy, and a basket can hold glue sticks on the shelf. Speaking of crafts, how about a paint and paintbrush organizer? Again, using one of the caddies, I'm going to just fold down that top rung and tuck it back there behind the second rung. That immediately creates a great space for my larger size paints. And uh, these chalk paints that are this size here fit in very nicely three across. A little Dollar Tree organizer bin fits nicely there on the bottom shelf holding some brushes. And the hooks below could also serve to hold some brushes as well. As well as if you wanted to add another one of those utility hook units, you can fit even more brushes. And then here at the top, I'm going to attach a little bucket again with some zip ties, and then that's going to create a space for yet even more brushes or other items used for painting. Another option for a paint caddy would be to take some of these large rubber bands and place them across the top of the shower caddy to create a holder for my long paint brush. Then use the lower shelves again for paint storage. And then here you can see that the caddies can be hung on the back of a door on one of the Dollar Tree over the door caddies or directly to the wall. There is a lot of different glue in crafting and to corral all of those different glue types, how about a glue caddy? And in this one, I just removed those middle two shelves with a wire cutter. So just there on the edges, just removed um, on both sides. Then I again took two of those Dollar Tree bins and zip tied those to the frame of the caddy. Lastly, I just took some more of those large rubber bands and I placed those across the bottom of the caddy on the two hooks at the bottom. And then here is the finished caddy with all of my different types of glues, as well as a small container of spackle there to the side. And at the bottom, that little shelf is perfect for a tube of caulk. Well, I hope you have enjoyed these closet, craft, and office supplies organization hacks. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a big thumbs up and please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. If you would like to check out other videos in this series, you can link to them here and also in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.